Yo guys, what's going on? Cliff Jumper 1984, Red Rocks, your favorite Autobot. All day long and all day strong, like always, drinking that Natty Ice. Got another video game pickup for you here. We got seven games spanning three different consoles. Let's start it off. First, for an eBay pickup, paid about under six bucks for this one. It's kind of sad because when I got it, the condition of what the cart was didn't match the picture. Uh, it doesn't hurt me that much because it's something I'm not going to play that much. By Ultra, Ski or Die. Play a little bit of it. Seems like it's got a little bit of a learning curve, but you know that's what you expect from a Nintendo game. Because back in the day, this costing like you know 35, 45, maybe 50 bucks. You gotta basically spend your time with it to actually master the game because they don't want you to spend 50 bucks and think it's a beat game, right? Another eBay pickup, and this was another one like Ski or Die on PriceCharting.com is one of the cheaper games I did not have yet. This is by Konami, which is the high end of Ultra's line, track and field. This is another one that, like I said, I got off of eBay, and the label's just the same, where I did not expect this to be peeling off of it, but whatever. I paid, it was like five sixty-five or something like that, with shipping and tax and stuff all together. And it was something like, for how old it was, for an early release of the NES, I thought maybe one of my friends that I grew up with when elementary school, that I would have went over to their house and played it. Because, like, 90% of the people that I went to elementary school with, that I hung out with after school, had an NES. Then, after replaying this, like, wow, I'm surprised nobody had this. Amazon pickup. Uh, I always talk about how I had to get Bing rewards, and when I do these stupid little trials and questionnaires and stuff like that, or Bing searches, so I get a $5 gift card every 16 to 20 some days, and then I put that towards NES games and throw a couple bucks in. And then this Camara cart showed up, and I was like, wow, I have, what, Micro Machines... And I have one, two, three, four other Comerica cards, so let's add this to the collection Quattro Adventure.
And basically what it is, it has four separate games on it. So that's four games on one NES card. Oh my god. We have Boomerang Kid, Super Robin Hood. And this is the biggest reason I got it for Treasure uh, Island Dizzy. Because I like Dizzy's Adventure or whatever for NES. Which is the other Chimera card I have, one of them. And Linus Spacehead. It's one of those things where you've got that switch on the back. If it doesn't work on position B, you switch it to position A in the back. There's this little sector or switch right here. And what was cool about it also, which I didn't expect this, I got a third-party sleeve. That's what's up. And again, it was you know not too long after that, here was another Amazon pickup for the same thing I talked about. It was a movie. And the second time I started collecting for NES, I got this really cheap at a yard sale, along with ones uh, like G.I. Joe Atlantis Factor, Solstice, and there's like maybe two or three other I can't think of at the point, but Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. four dollars and change for it it's not a bad game it's like it's hard to explain the colors are a little drab it's an rpg ish kind of like a legend of zelda -esque game but more with dragon warrior parts into it but then it goes to like the 2d fighting stance in it it's not bad i'd probably give it a 5.5 maybe a 6 out of 10 something i should maybe sit down and play a little bit more of it but I probably got a lot further back in the day than I remember when I tried to replay it right after I got this. My local Just Rest Play was near me when I went and got some groceries. And I ran in real quick. Oh my gosh. I wasn't really expecting to find anything good. But how about this for Super Nintendo? Super Play Action Football.
It was one of the cheapest Super Nintendo games I didn't have when I seen it. And I only picked this up because the card is actually in, like, really, really good condition. I paid two ninety nine for it. And the sad thing is when I took the label off it, it took a little bit of that off. So maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. I got to play a little bit of it. I love, you know, NFL football and watching football. And what a little bit I played with it, it's not that bad. My cats over here using the litter box. Really cool during the middle of a video. How about this for Nintendo Wii U? Oh my god. Zombie U. Now listen up. One night will kill you. So no messing about with these lights. Pay two ninety nine for this. This is complete in the box. What did you two ninety nine? This is one of the original third party releases that the Wii U got. There's a special Zombie U Wii U console, which is isn't mine. I don't know. I got it because it was the cheapest title they had. And I just seen it real quick. I was like, you know, why not? Their uh, Wii U titles are thinning out really bad, so I didn't have it, so I got it. What the hell? It looks interesting. I didn't get it yet to chance yet to play it. I got the new 65 inch TV, you know, mounted to my wall upstairs in the living room. So hopefully I get to check that out within a game or two with the way the coronavirus stuff is going. Ugh. Hope everyone's being safe out there with that. And last but not least, another NES game. And this is by Tecmo. And it was one that I picked up. I couldn't believe I didn't have yet. But again, it was another one of the cheapest ones on. I was looking at PriceTrading.com for the NES games I didn't have yet. And this label was in not bad condition. And I only paid a dollar for it with a couple bucks, like three dollars or three eighty, three fifty shipping or something like that. Tecmo Bowl. It's basically Super Tecmo Bowl with, and it's not super enough, you know. <laughs> I like NFL games; they're pretty cool. Nothing beats like Madden, I guess. Back, you know, early '90s and stuff like that. So, what do you think, guy? Of these? What do you think about all these? You playing these? Throw that comment below. Slap a like on this video. Until next time, like always. Hey, drink one on me.